You are about to hear how a small team in a Swedish factory moved the world of hypercars forward in one moment of pure emotion. A fresh motor, unlike any before it, rose from countless sketches and test benches to a single stage, and its creator could not hold back tears. In the next few minutes, you will learn exactly what makes this new power plant so special, how it fits into the fastest car ever made, and why this day will be remembered. But this wasn't just a reveal, it was a release. Years of pressure, innovation, and obsession condensed into one raw moment. What could move a man like Christian von Koenigsegg to tears? Silence fell over the crowd at Koenigsegg's expanded factory in Engelholm, Sweden, as Christian von Koenigsegg stepped onto the stage to unveil the company's latest creation, the dark matter electric motor. Lights dimmed to a cool blue, and a single spotlight traced the outline of a covered shape at the center of the floor. The cover was drawn back, revealing a compact motor wrapped in gleaming carbon fiber. For a moment, the audience stared, absorbing the sleek form of a machine that promised to redefine electric performance. Christian cleared his throat and began to speak. He described long nights spent poring over drawings, the first test runs marked by sparks and smoke, and the countless setbacks that had nearly derailed the project. He paused as if searching for the right words to capture years of work in a single breath. Then as he introduced the name Dark Matter, his voice cracked and he blinked rapidly. A tear trickled down his cheek, capturing the stage light and shimmering like a droplet of liquid metal. The audience stared, and for a heartbeat, nothing but soft gas filled the hall. Cameras in the front row captured Christian's moment of vulnerability, sending live images to thousands of viewers watching online. Social media feeds lit up instantly with clips of the CEO wiping his eyes. People around the world paused their activities to witness the founder move to tears by his invention. After a brief silence, Christian composed himself and explained the motor's key innovation, a six-phase raxial flux design that blended the strengths of radial and axial configurations into a single package. He spoke of how the motor delivered 800 horsepower and 1,250 newton meters of torque while weighing just 39 kilograms. He described the moment on the test bench when those figures were confirmed and how the team erupted in cheers that echoed through the factory. His eyes shone not with embarrassment, but with the fervor of someone who had watched an idea take shape against all odds. As Christian walked off the stage, the crowd rose in applause. Engineers and designers embraced, some still dabbing their own eyes. The emotional reveal had turned into a celebration of teamwork and tenacity. Journalists rushed forward to capture the moment, while factory workers lingering behind the scenes exchanged high fives and smiles. Outside, the Swedish sun dipped low, bathing the facility in warm light as if nature itself approved of the day's achievement. In the hours that followed, footage of Christian's tears became the defining image of the dark matter launch. Automotive analysts praised the technical leap that Koenigsegg had made, while fans admired the CEO's candor and passion. What began as a simple product unveiling ended as a shared human experience, reminding us that behind every revolutionary machine sits a person whose heart beats in time with the motor they create. But to understand why that tear meant everything, you have to go back. Back to the prototypes, the failures, and the raw ambition that first sparked the motor's name. Because before dark matter ever turned heads, it had to defy physics. After the moving reveal in Engelholm, the story of dark matter reaches back to the early days of Koenigsegg's electric motor work. Long before the name dark matter existed, engineers experimented with a unit called a quark. The quark program focused on reinventing how magnets, cooling, materials, and size come together in a motor. It revisited basic ideas about how magnetic fields flow using a blend of radial and axial layouts that Koenigsegg called raxial flux. Those first quark tests showed promise and taught valuable lessons that led directly to dark matter. Koenigsegg stands on the brink of another revolution. After the triumphant debut of the dark matter motor, the company plans to turn big ideas into real products that shape the future of high-performance cars. The roadmap ahead focuses on new limited models, expanded production capacity, deeper work in sustainability, and pioneering pure electric performance. On the motorsport side, the CCGT concept teases a return to racing, 
If GT3 or prototype rule changes allow, a Koenigsegg race car could hit the tracks by 2026. Endurance events would push cooling systems, electrics, and safety gear to their limits. Partnerships with tire and brake makers will supply track-ready compounds and pads. The data from racing will feed back into road cars, sharpening performance and reliability for customers. Sustainability drives many projects. Koenigsegg continues tests of e-fuels that burn cleaner in twin-turbo V8s without losing power. Early trials show synthetic fuels can match petrol's energy density in boost conditions. In electric research, engineers are exploring ultra-high voltage battery packs above 1,600 volts. Higher voltage means thinner wiring and faster charging, making electric models lighter and more responsive. Koenigsegg aims to reach carbon-neutral production by 2030, using solar panels on factory roofs and recycled materials in car interiors. Customer experiences will also expand. Following the success of the Ghost Squadron tour in Europe, Koenigsegg plans similar events in North America and Asia. These tours let owners drive their cars on public roads and test tracks, while engineers collect data on how cars handle heat, humidity, and altitude. Koenigsegg will also offer technical workshops on maintenance, deepening the bond between brand and driver. Digital innovation remains key. Koenigsegg will enhance over-the-air updates, delivering new control maps, suspension settings, and shifting logic directly to cars. A dedicated app will show real-time data on motor health, battery charge, and maintenance alerts. This digital layer means cars get better over time without factory visits. It also lets Koenigsegg respond fast to feedback and roll out new features based on real-world use. Looking further ahead, Koenigsegg may unveil a pure electric hypercar by the end of the decade. This model would use multiple dark matter style motors or their successors, delivering more than 300 horsepower in a lightweight carbon fiber chassis. Early studies on battery chemistry and thermal management are already underway, aiming for over 500 kilometers of range at high speeds. A prototype could appear as soon as 2028, once Koenigsegg refines ultra-fast charging and advanced cooling. The next generation of leadership will guide Koenigsegg's path. Christian von Koenigsegg works closely with young engineers and designers, passing on hands-on methods through apprenticeship programs. Collaborations with universities and research centers will fuel breakthroughs in materials and control software. This human-centered approach ensures that, even as machines grow more complex, the brand's core spirit of passion and creativity remains unchanged. From a tear on stage to a motor that bends the rules of physics, this wasn't just a reveal, it was a revolution. What part of Koenigsegg's journey hit you the hardest? Drop your thoughts below. Until next time, keep chasing the edge.